you up to date with the latest on the shooting in Plymouth because it's been confirmed that six people, including a suspected gunman, died in yesterday's serious incident in the town. Well, police were called to the Keyham area of the city just after six o'clock in the evening. A large cordon remains in place this morning. The Police and Crime Commissioner for Devon and Cornwall, Alison Hernandez, joins us now from Plymouth. Good to speak to you, you this morning. Um, it's a very surprising area to see such a horrific crime like this. When were you aware that something had happened? Well, uh, night I got a call from the Chief Constable uh, quite soon after the incident, and um, we've been speaking and meeting last night. Um, I'm seeing him again this morning. I'm on my way down to Plymouth this morning. Uh, I, I think for us, it's, this is a tragedy that we never would have imagined waking up to this morning. And I want to thank all of our emergency services for their efforts last night and for our residents, those who have witnessed absolute awful things yesterday. Um, we're by your side this morning and uh, my team will be down at Ford Park uh, School, primary school in Plymouth on Cambridge Road this morning if anybody wants any support. Yeah, I mean, it's a terrifying thing for people to have happen mm. right in their area, isn't it? I know that everyone was told to, to stay indoors because of what was happening. And how are you able to support people through this and reassure them? Well, there's an opportunity for people 24-7 uh, if they want to go online or ring the victim support helpline. Um, it's all on social media. It's on my website. If you want to just Google victim support, ring them. They will be there for you. I think the emotional and practical support right now is what people are going to need. Mm. Uh, I think they're going to be speechless, in shock. Um, I mean, I've had some of the images that people have videoed or taken shots of sent to me last night. Um, so I know that our community that's directly affected are fully aware of what's happened last night. And the aim is to be by their side first thing this morning. Of course, our, our, our huge sympathies go to the six people that have lost their lives. Um, we don't know the circumstances completely, but there will be people that love them and are close to them. Um, what... Where are you on understanding what actually happened? Where are you in this investigation? So the police are nearly there. I mean, the chief constable will be speaking to the media later on this morning, um, confirming some of the facts. Uh, the priority has been to identify the victims, speak to their families last night um, and make sure, obviously, that the community are safe. So that's been the priority. Uh, I think for us, you know, Plymouth is a visionary city and no one could have envisaged this happening, uh, what happened to us last night. So uh, what I will say is um, absolutely there are six people that have sadly lost their life last night. Um, but it, it is a safe area now. There is, you know, the, we do believe that the suspect itself has um, has died and we will confirm how that happened later on this morning. We don't know, obviously, it's early days in the investigation, but there will be big questions asked here about access to firearms because of what's happened. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the police at the moment are looking into that, trying to explore what type of gun, uh, whether they had a licence to hold one or not, all those sorts of things, and those questions will be hopefully answered a bit later on this afternoon or this morning. Um, I, I think for us in particular, this is a rare incident, um, so this will be the first time something of this scale we'll have ever dealt with down here uh, in Devon and Cornwall, and we are absolutely devastated this morning. Um, I want to, I can't thank the emergency services enough. I mean, dealing with victims who have been shot is absolutely horrific, uh, and the families of those victims, uh, we are by your side, absolutely. The city has woken up this morning, ready to help all hands on deck. Social media, of course, plays a huge part in all our lives. Um, are you interested in seeing footage that people might have uh, have taken? Um, and are you also hoping for witnesses to come forward? And where would you like them to come forward from? Obviously, if they've seen something, but are you looking around the area? What can people do to help? Yeah. Oh, I think, obviously, the police at the moment are not looking for any further suspects, so that's not an issue at the moment. Um, in terms of the footage or information that people have, there is a log number. Um, if you wanted to call 101 or email 101 at dc.police.uk with any information. Uh, the reality is we'd like you to hold on to any footage or photos that you have. Um, we will be really clear about what we might want you to do with that as time moves on. Uh, but please don't share that locally. Please don't. It's absolutely horrific images that I've seen last night. 
Uh, and I don't think it's um, helpful for any of the families involved to actually see some of that. So please hold on to your footage and, and please don't share. No, OK. Well, listen, Alison Hernandez, there, Police and Crime Commissioner for Devon and Cornwall and the Silly Isles, we appreciate you taking the time out to talk to us this morning. Last night, the local MP, Luke Pollard, described the incident as unspeakably awful. And he joins us now from the scene of the shooting. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us this morning. I mean, we were hearing there from Alison Hernandez an overview of, of the support that's available and her feelings about what's happened. Can we get your reaction to this horrific event? I mean, this is just an unspeakably grim uh, a set of events that's taken place. Keyham, where the shooting's taken place, is a tight-knit community. It's a place where you know your neighbours and you look out for one another. And to have something like this take place here is, uh, is utterly devastating for the community. Uh, it is a busy uh, part of town and last night when the shooting took place there would have been people on the streets, people walking to the nearby park and so we're I mean, having spoken to a lot of residents uh, uh, last night and this morning, there's an awful lot of people that have been caught up in this shooting not just those that were um, uh, shot and that received medical treatment uh, from the emergency services but also those that witnessed uh, the event and those that feel that this is an attack on an entire community because this type of stuff doesn't happen here. Plymouth is a is a safe city by and large, and the the sense that people are waking up with here is uh, is this awful shock of devastation and, and disbelief. Um, but what we need to do today as a community is, is make sure we're looking after one another, coming together, finding the the space to be able to share what has happened and to be able to talk about it to try and start the just to process what is uh, probably one of the darkest days in Plymouth's history since the uh, since the Second World War. OK, well, we appreciate your thoughts. Uh, thanks for joining us. That's Luke Pollard there, the local MP. And uh, we'll be keeping an eye on that situation and just bringing you any more developments as it happens. But obviously still an ongoing investigation into the shooting in Plymouth.